What's a women's cricketer's perspective on the ball tampering business? I mean, the whole nation was shocked. Were you shocked? Yeah, we just couldn't believe that it made such an impact, I think, more than anything. Whilst it's against the rules and it's frowned upon that um, to do something like that, it's it's a part of the game of cricket, unfortunately. And um, yeah. So you were more surprised by the public impact it had than this extraordinary act of yeah, tampering with I the think, ball. I think while you're there and you're playing the game of cricket, you forget you forget the role that sport plays in Australian society and you're sort of just going about your business and, and doing your job, but you forget about the impact that you have on other people. And it was probably an eye-opening experience for everybody in the sporting landscape that how much Aussies really care about their sporting teams and how much they mean to the country and when something goes wrong, everybody's upset about it. So you can sympathise with these blokes or at least understand why they did it. I can't. I can't tell you why they did it or, or comment on, you know, the tampering as, yeah. um, as such. But yeah, look, I, I feel for um, every single uh, male player in that in that side at the time. It was obviously a really rough road for them, and it has been ever since. A lot's been said and done, but the boys <laughs> are going to be back in around Australian cricket, which is great for them and great for the group as well. So there's no question in your mind that they should be welcomed back, both of you. Absolutely, yeah. They've. Obviously, they've they've served their punishment for for South Africa, but um, they're three fantastic cricketers, and I look forward to playing with them again. They're obviously they're obviously a big part of Australian cricket, and have been for a long period of time. And um, yeah, to to take away their their livelihood for twelve months must have been incredibly difficult for all three of them. Nine months for Cameron, so a bit different. But um, I know what cricket meant to all three of them. So to have them back around the cricket scene, I think it'll be great for them. The easy question is, would it happen in women's cricket? I couldn't see it happening in the women's game, no. Well, a lot of writers now, sports writers, are saying in the uh, aftermath of that episode that uh, women's cricket might save the game. That's nice. No pressure. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I think that's that's been something that's really pleasing over that 12-month period was how well our team was going behind the scenes and we were winning tournaments and we were leading up to a World Cup that was a huge tournament for us and um, yeah we're just going about our business and um, yeah playing the game of cricket that we love and and playing it well and we're sort of I guess we're a little bit of a shining light in um, in the cricket world at that time and that's something that we, we enjoyed. Hello I'm Charles Woolley Thanks for watching. To keep up with the latest from 60 Minutes Australia, make sure you subscribe to our channel. You can also download the Nine Now app for full episodes and other exclusive 60 Minutes content.